Hey guys, what's up? My name is Michelle and this is Phrase Foliage. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And if you couldn't already tell from the video's title, we are going to be doing some plant chores and just some plant maintenance within my IKEA cabinet behind me. Uh, if you do think that that's something that you'd like to watch or something that would pique your interest, continue watching. Um, and if not, I do have some other videos on my channel. Um, feel free to go check them out. But what's up guys? How are you all doing? I know it's been a little bit since my last upload and I have been quite sick for the past two weeks. Today is actually February 22nd, so I had a lot of plans for February and somehow the whole month just got away from me. Uh, that typically is the case with it being the shortest month as it is in the year, but 2022 is off to a good start. But with that being said, we are just going to do some plant chores today. So if that's up your wheelhouse, keep on watching this video and to like and comment something down below. And of course, if you do like the channel, feel free to subscribe. Um, and yeah, let's just get right into the video. I'm going to be focusing all our energies on this cabinet today. So um, you guys did see this cabinet in another video that I had posted. It was my plant collection tour. Um, I'll link that in the cards above if you haven't already seen that video but that was um basically the first time showing off this cabinet and that was basically the last time i really touched this cabinet now i will obviously go in here every single day to turn on the lights um, i do look at my propagations to ensure that the sphagnum or the water or whatever medium they're in is moist and or has enough water so i do my general kind of like daily check-ins um but i haven't done like maintenance maintenance in a while so I just want to, first of all, go through and just take all the plants out, um, wipe down all the shelving, maybe rearrange a few plants, and just if there are plants that are super dirty, I'm going to wipe them down, especially their leaves. Um, and yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing within the cabinet today. I actually do have plans to kind of rejumble around the shelving. Uh, mainly, I'm thinking of removing the top shelf and or... Um, one of the two shelves just so that I can have more room for plants that are going to be growing taller. Um, with this in mind, I specifically have my Hoya Australis in mind because she is growing long and I don't want to chop her, but she is almost at the top of the uh, cabinet. You can see she's the tallest plant right there, but she is so close to touching the grow lights. I obviously don't want any of the new um, leaves to burn off. So yeah, I'm going to just kind of see what I can do for now to make it a little bit of a better growing situation. But until I get some type of shelving in here and or like magnetic shelving, it's going to have to just stay like this. Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm going to just start off by removing all of the plants off of the shelving. Um, I think I'm just going to do this one shelf at a time and I'm just going to place all of the plants either on the windowsill over here or my desk, which is right behind me. And yeah, enjoy this most likely sped up footage. Hoya Australis I was mentioning. So I've had this plant for over a year and finally I'm seeing multiple growth. I got this plant and it had four leaves. So uh, this whole like tendril was about half the length and it only had that one tiny leaf forming. So she has grown so much. And as you can see there, there are four new leaves coming in and they're towards the top. And I, again, don't need this plant to get in harm's way because I am just putting it too close to the light, but I love her. She's so cute. Oh, oh, oh. 
Okay, so top shelf all done. I did rearrange a bit. For the most part, I do have my Hoya and Propagations on this top shelf or any plants that just really need more intense light, like my variegated string of hearts. I recently moved back into sphagnum moss. Um, and as you can see down here, we are getting some new hearts. Um, this plant just was not doing well in soil. So I think I just transitioned it too quick, but yeah, this is how the top shelf looks. And we do have all of our Mikan's props from um, a former video, which I'll link in the cards above if you haven't watched, but <laughs> just an FYI, this is our best performing Mikan's prop. And if you can see the crazy rooting that we have along the base of the cup, yeah, he's doing really well. There's also a new growth point in there, which I believe you can see. And other ones aren't doing as hot. So just really interesting to see. So I have all my sphagnum and my water propagations up there. And then I have my Hoyas all here, as well as just a random Syngonium propagation. Um, but now we can move down to the second and the third shelf. Okay, so I've gotten every single shelf within the cabinet clean and organized. This bottom shelf is really more so for plants that I'm just kind of not really into slash. They aren't sparking as much joy as the others, but of course this changes. Um, I only have two sets of grow strips in for the time being in this cabinet. So uh, basically hierarchy goes highest <laughs> priority of light goes on top and then it'll kind of dwindle down. The nice part about this cabinet is that by having the glass shelving, you know, light does travel down. It's obviously a lot more diffused on this bottom shelf than it is from the middle shelf, but plants have still been doing relatively okay on the bottom, like this Diffenbachia. I will say that it's been growing, but um, it's definitely acting almost like an alocasia, which let me know if that's how it typically grows, but with every new leaf I'm getting, um, I can almost assume, like I know this this leaf right here, is going to be the next one to go because it's the oldest. So is that the, the, the trend with Diffenbachia that with every new leaf, one must die? Um, if that's the case, then all right. But I definitely thought I was in for something different. But uh, yeah, that is where all of my plants are going to live on, I guess, you know, the respective shelf for the time being. I know it's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but it gets the job done. So I will be sticking this back on to the glass shelf once it is washed. I'm going to like just hang it there for temporary, but let me wash this last window. 
I'm gonna wash this last pane of glass on the inside and I can do the outside more easily. Now that I washed the inside, I'm going to take the sticker one more time and just boop. Okay, so cabinet is all clean and it is looking good. I'm just going to leave it kind of sitting open for a little bit um, just so it can air out and cycle all of the older moisture and just the nasty air out. Um, I don't have fans yet, so what I still need to get for this setup are um, USB slash battery operating fans just to circulate the air in here a little bit more. Now, if that is to be added into my setup, I think I would have to change out these glass shelves for a alum aluminum grate or something that would allow air to flow through it. So that's just one of the reasons why I'm kind of putting that on the back burner for the time being. Um, I do have this cabinet open quite often. I do have it also weather stripped on the, you know, um, side so that less humidity can escape um but my plants have been doing really well i don't see any mold or anything that's forming on the soil and or the sphagnum so i can assume that everything inside the cabinet is at a good humidity level and isn't being like oversaturated with humidity but what i do really want to get are almost like a so again trying to figure out which shelf i'm going to remove is going to kind of come with time but whichever shelf I remove, which will most likely be the top one. And again, I'll have to figure this one out, but I do want to get like a shower caddy. Um, and I've seen people do this in like the Ikea Millsbow tall or wide cabinets, but they get like a shower caddy and stick it in the corner and they're able to use it for their smaller plants, or they're able to just use it on a chunk of their cabinet. So like if I could find a shower caddy, that has like one little shelf for the corner and I can stick it to the corner here. That'd be so ideal or something magnetic since the whole back part of this Ikea cabinet is magnetic. I would like to hypothetically get rid of this shelf, um, get some magnetic holders that would more so be responsible for holding these lighter cups slash propagations just because they are so light. Um, in that case, I would also move any and all plants I have from terracotta or ceramic pots to be in nursery plastic pots, just so that the, the weight isn't as extreme. Um, but yeah, that's just what I want to do now. I have my eye on some magnetic shelves um, already at the moment. It's more so how about structuring everything and like the lighting that I'm a little bit worried about. Um, but for the time being, this cabinet has been amazing. It's been treating my plants so well. Um, and actually let me show you some of the growth because it's good. My Hoya are just doing so impeccably well. And I know I have my little meter right here that reads 45% humidity. This cabinet tends to keep, if I'm not spraying, um, and I will say I am a believer that misting actually helps increase humidity in addition to having a pebble tray. So actually my Hoya Bella is sitting on top of a pebble tray. I'm going to have to replenish, um, with some water but the humidity tends to stick around 55 to 60. And if I do spray, which I tend to spray in the mornings and in the afternoons, um, the humidity can get up to 65. So the humidity in this cabinet has been amazing. My Hoya have been loving it. Um, let's pull out my Hoya Crimson Queen right here. She actually has a new leaf right here. So pretty. It was just super pink. So now it's fading to white, but she is thriving. This is a slower grower, but in the months that she's been in the cabinet, she's been so happy. Um, and I'm not sure if it'll pick up, but there's a new leaf right there. There is something new starting to form here. So lots of new goodies coming, but like I mentioned, one just did bloom or grow out right there. Um, my Australis, I don't want to move her just because she's situated right between the two strip lights. So I don't want to move that little piece that has the four new points, new growth points. Um, let me gently take out my abavada. When I first got this plant, it had these four, six leaves. Um, this has been one of the newest ones. It's super tiny, but this top is starting to shoot out almost what looks like will be two new leaves at the top. So I'm really excited. This guy I'm debating chopping. 
but I don't want to chop them. Um, but the plant that has been making me just so proud is this Hoya Bella. I'm being super delicate with her. When I did buy this, it came with three pieces. So this is the piece, the only piece that really survived. There were two others. And as you can see, this pot has gotten super bare in the back. Um, but this has just been shooting out new growth left and right. This is a slower growing stock, but this vine right here has been going crazy. And there's a whole new growth right there. Like that just happened within the past week. So, I mean, this has been amazing. And I don't know if it's entirely due to the uh, Ikea cabinet, um, to the season, because for some reason, my Hoya really liked to start having some type of growth and or just like show that they're alive in winter months. So I don't know if they just really <laughs> go, go dormant in the summer months, but I've also um, invested in liquid dirt. So I have been watering and giving my plants liquid dirt, which I also think is one of the reasons why I'm seeing this crazy boom in action with my Hoya, which makes me so happy because Hoya are just notoriously slow growers. Um, but yeah, I think the liquid dirt is honestly saving these plants and making them really go amazingly. Um, same story with these variegated string of hearts. There was like little to no action going on when I had these in their terracotta potter, but now moving it in sphagnum. Um, yeah, we are finally seeing some new growth. The hearts are getting a lot plumpier and just like happier looking. So yeah, liquid or and an Ikea cabinet will just make your plants super happy. <laughs> All right, guys, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And let me know in the comments down below what you think of these types of videos. Um, I definitely want to kind of expand beyond just, you know, big box or plant shop tours and would really like to just have more time with my plants and to show you guys my plants and to kind of gush over them as every other, you know, planty person wants to do. Um, but yeah, let me know if you enjoy this type of content. Uh, if you have any recommendations or any types of videos that you'd like to see on this channel, do let me know down below in the comments. And yeah, if you like this video, please go ahead and let me know that by liking it and commenting something down below and continue to support my channel if you can. And that can be done by just subscribing to my channel. Um, if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please go ahead and follow me there. I am starting to become a lot more present on Instagram. Again, during my whole week and a half of being sick, I was not present anywhere on social media. So I am just trying to get back into the swing of things and would just love to connect with everybody because I have missed the plant community. And let me tell you, a week and a half the trends, the plants, the progress, things have changed so much. So I have to just regroup with everybody and myself um, and just kind of get back into things. So all that being said, thank you again for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.